everybody and welcome back to my channel literally my skin it's not even that it's like breaking out it's just like all gone all red around here because i've like just sorted my spots out i just gross update anyway <laughs> but hello welcome back i missed you guys so much um tonight me and josh are going on a date night so i thought that what i could do is do it get ready with me i asked on my instagram for some questions as well just whilst we're getting ready um just so we obviously i always love asking you guys what you want to ask me um and see what you like are interested in and what you want to know about me or anything like that so i always find that really really nice um to kind of get a little bit more personal chat a little bit so um yes welcome back um i'm just about to get my clothes out and then start getting ready literally oh, so annoying we are going out for about our table's booked at six um so i think we're gonna aim to leave here for about quarter two i'd imagine because it's not very far from where we live um which would be good so to, honestly today's been the weirdest day just before we get into actually getting ready um it's literally so sunny and actually really beautiful outside now but honestly it was like pouring down with rain earlier but then it was sunny and then it was sunny and pouring down with rain and it was like wearing your sunglasses but also wearing a coat with your hood up it was literally the weirdest day of weather like i honestly wish it would just be nice weather now like i've had enough of all of this miserable rain and everything like i don't mind a little bit of rain and a few days of rain and everything like that but like you know when it just gets to the point when you've just had enough of like the cold weather the change in like seasons and the fact that like you know it's like my nose feels a little bit like blocked up but they're not and then it's just so weird and like my lips have been dry and like it's been horrible like battling with my face but um anyway so i'm gonna just quickly show you guys what i'm gonna be wearing so i bought this new dress from primark actually and i thought do you know what i'm gonna wear this because it's so so cute um let me just get it out but i thought do you know what i'm gonna wear this because it's so so cute it's literally i've left the tags out but you guys know it's literally just a bodycon like a long bodycon dress um with honestly and it's just so so cute it's incredibly stretchy so i actually sized down in this i think this was eight pounds i want to say um let me have a look oh six pounds guys what a bargain that is for six pounds like how cute is that i'm gonna put it with a nice denim jacket maybe some boots or trainers i haven't quite decided what sort of vibe i'm gonna go for yet but i'm definitely gonna denim jacket little cardigan i think underneath that as well just to take with me just so i make sure i'm warm but where we're gonna be sitting inside anyway it doesn't really matter too much um but like, how cute is that I think that's a bargain. I got it in a six because it's so stretchy. Like, usually, obviously, I'm an eight. Um, but, I mean, sometimes, like, I also got this um, play suit from there. But I'm going to have to size up to a size ten because, um, oh, my God, my bedroom is such a mess. I'm going to have to size up to a ten because it's just um, too tight on where my boobs would be. But look how gorgeous that colour is. Um, but like I said, it's a little bit tight on where my boobs are, um, and it's a little bit, it's like a little bit tight on my bum as well, but it's like a nice sort of tight, if that makes sense. Um, it's like a really flattering kind of tight, but um, yeah, I'm going to have to size up to a 10 so that I can obviously fit in it, <laughs> because it just squishes my boobs down, but it's so adorable, and it was literally £10, and I thought it was such a cute colour. But anyway, enough talking about the clothes I got from Primark I'm gonna get into my dress and honestly get this covered up this disgusting horror of a spot on my face um and yeah let's get ready and let's have a little chat so I have popped the dress on like guys honestly how adorable is this I feel like it's so so cute the back of this is so nice Honestly, it's adorable, and obviously it's a bodycon, but then it kind of like isn't super bodycon at the very bottom by where my knees are, um, and I just absolutely love it. I think it's adorable with a nice denim jacket, a little pair of shoes, maybe some boots. I'm not quite sure. I think I'm going to go with trainers. I'm not. I think I'm going to go with my Adidas shoes just because they'll look really super cute with this. I think so. That is the vibe that we are going for today, guys. I am obsessed with this dress. I think it's adorable. But 
I'm just gonna start putting my makeup and that on. My dogs are downstairs barking, honestly. I'm pretty sure they always bark whenever I'm filming a video. They're so noisy at the moment. It's unbelievable how noisy they all are. They both are down there. My hair is brushed. I've got my phone, so let's go through some of the questions that you guys asked me. Thank you so much for answering. Um, you know I'm always grateful for you guys for um, asking some questions and stuff. So, um, what am I most... What are you looking forward to most post lockdown? Um, oh, because I know obviously we're kind of coming out of this now, um, and you know everything is kind of starting to starting to go back to normal and everything like that. I feel like um, just like seeing family and friends and like being able to go out and spend time with them and just do other things that like were little things like going to the cinema or just literally going for a nice couple of drinks or something with your friends or going and just having a look in the shops or obviously seeing your family like all the things that we took and like you know were just everyday things that we did anyway like the fact that we were then not allowed to do them it was like a real it's really nice to kind of like start to be back in normality so like yeah just all of those like little things that you probably didn't realize that like um you're gonna miss that much without it if you know what I mean so I definitely think that sort of I definitely think that um oh first guys let me just tell you about what I've been using let me just rub it and moisturize it into my face so basically um I've been using it as a combination and I'm absolutely loving it so much it's so nice is this obviously my wonder glow you guys know i'm obsessed with my wonder glow i use that usually even when i am having like a no makeup day i like to put that on just to make myself feel like i'm got a bit of a glow and all of that if you know what i mean like i feel like it's really really nice to put it on it i don't know what it is it just makes me feel so much better like if i put that on if i want a no makeup day like sometimes obviously i don't put it on if i want like a full no makeup day but like I don't know there's just something about having that on that even though I don't actually have like makeup as such on um not like a full face anyway like it just makes me feel a little bit confident that I've got got something on um I don't know what it is I don't really know how to explain it you know guys know I'm not very good at explaining stuff um but <laughs> we'll give it our best go um however what I've been using with that is the number seven intelligent color foundation which is so thin like you guys wouldn't even know i had it on if you saw me in person like it literally is incredible so it color matches to your skin so it comes out in this sort of color i don't know if you guys can see very well um i've got it in the light shade oh you would have seen me put it on my face anyway um and it's amazing like as soon as you start moisturizing it in it matches to your skin instantly like i am obsessed with it i am definitely not going to be going away from this anytime soon because it also doesn't give me that patchy sort of look which sometimes i get with like depending on where i go like i was using collection stuff before and like that gave me such a patchy look and it was really frustrating i did not like it it was not my friend some people i was definitely i used to get along with it and it used to go on my skin perfectly but it just does not anymore it's not a vibe um moving on to another question where do you see yourself in five years time that is a good question you know i always struggle with answering this sort of question because i honestly just like don't i don't know like i would love obviously i want to have moved in with josh that is definitely one of the things i 100 percent want to have done in that time in five years like um not necessarily moved to like two different places or anything like that just yeah probably in our first home together um wherever that may be um and i'd imagine i'm not sure about like kids and that yeah i don't really know like when we plan on i don't really want to like plan it as such if you know what i mean like i don't want to plan like a time or an age i just want to do it when me and josh were ready 
um i don't want it to feel forced i don't nobody in like our family is forcing us or anything like that there's no like pressure um because a lot of like my whole family pretty much have been so young when they've had children um and i'm i think i'm like the oldest one to not have kids like by my age because obviously i'm 21 so i don't actually obviously have children <laughs> obviously guys um but like pretty much most of my family had already had kids like by my age which is crazy um but yeah so i'm like the oldest one to not have kids yet um but yeah which i think is like obviously quite like crazy i i just i don't know i don't know what it is so like yeah the fact that like they all had children by my age and like i have not even thought about like wanting children yet like obviously i want i would love to have children i think that would be amazing um i'm just not yet <laughs> yeah uh i would i mean ideally i would love to be doing my dream job potentially um a business owner honestly i don't really know to be fair um definitely don't want to be working where i work now i think that um yeah my like in long term sort of goals i don't want to be working where i am right now not that i don't enjoy it because i really really do um i love where i work and uh, everybody that i work with is so lovely and um all my customers are amazing so yeah i don't I don't feel like it's that I hate my job or anything like that. I just don't really see myself working there when I'm like five years time, which I think is fair enough. So I'm just putting, I'm just putting on the W7 Beam Me Up Illuminator. Honestly, this oh, I mean it's a highlighter, but this is so nice. It honestly goes on my skin so smoothly. So I pop that on. And then I also put on my NX, you guys know I've literally been using this for like a thousand years. Um, and I put that on my cheek as well, just on the top here. And I pop that there on top of it. Because I do love a bit of a really sort of look, guys. You know me, you know that I do love that kind of vibe. What's the, what's the first thing you would do if you won the lottery? Um, the first thing I'd do would probably be buy my own place, I think. Um, and also... Pay off the rest of my family's mortgage, I think. Um, maybe a nice new car, treat myself a little bit. I'd obviously also donate some money as well to, like, a charity that, like, was probably close to my heart. Um, to be able to, like, support them and stuff. Um... But, I, honestly, I'm rubbish. I, I'm so rubbish at answering questions, guys. I don't know why I do it to myself. But, like, um, yeah, I don't... I think that's probably what my first few things that I would do would be. So, I've actually got a new eyeshadow palette. It's the Technique one. And look how stunning these colours are, guys. Literally obsessed with them. Like, the pigment's so good. Like, they come out and they are such a beautiful colour. I honestly just can't even cope with how good they look. Look at that. It's amazing. Love it. Such a beautiful colour. I feel like I've literally had such a busy day today, guys. Like, I obviously went to work, and then I also came home. I finished editing um, my previous video that you guys would have already seen, um, if you have seen it. If you haven't, I'll pop a link up here so you can obviously go and have a little nosy at that. Um, but... I edited that and then I went and worked out and then now I'm here. I just feel like today's flown by, like it's gone by so quickly. I don't know what it is, but like, yeah, that's, it just feels like it's gone by so quick. Which is unbelievable. So I'm going for like an orangey, sunsetty kind of vibe tonight with my eyes, I think. I think that's the sort of look that I want to go for. So I'm going to pop a little bit of a darker one on the corner here. I literally saw it in the shop the other day, guys. It's like super cute. Um, it was like a, a, a birthday like card diary. It was literally so cool. So basically, you obviously have like all of your cards in there, and then you write down for every month like whose birthdays are in the month. Because if you know me, I am shocking at remembering birthdays. I don't know what it is. I just cannot remember them. I don't know why. I'd love to know. 
and I'd love to be able to actually remember like birthdays better but I just can't and it just doesn't happen for me but um yeah I don't know what it is I just like really struggle for some reason like remembering it <laughs> however um like if I rem but yeah and I was even I was like considering getting one but then I thought I'll probably wait until I actually move out because um I was gonna get it for like when I move out but guys I just keep buying stuff and like I haven't even moved out yet like <laughs> obsession is just i just keep buying things and like i shouldn't be buying them but i just honestly cannot control myself um oops but i feel like that's the um look oh you guys know i'm literally not a makeup artist so please do not diss my makeup skills because they're not the best i've got this like i'm gonna go so i've gone for that color um as like the base this colour I've gone for the um, edge and um, the, like edge of my eyelid and then I've gone for this colour for like a little bit more in the middle um, and then I'm going for this sort of glittery colour for literally just in on this bit right here. You guys can see very well. And I'm going to pop it literally because it's kind of like a glittery gold sort of colour and I feel like gold and golden like orangey sort of tones that like, go so well that is my eyeshadow done i think whoop whoop go me smashed it all uh, right let's answer another question what is your favorite food see i honestly um my favorite food now if it was going out in like a restaurant i would probably say my sort of favorite food would be like a wagamama that kind of like style you know like chicken and sauce and i really like um I really really enjoy that but then i think that if my favorite food just in general um would be hmm i think my favorite like snack or like chocolate would be like Bour bourneville fingers i think because i absolutely love them um i think i would go with bourneville fingers for my favorite chocolate but i think that my absolute favorite food it's really really difficult question actually to answer because like it really depends on what sort of mood i'm in like i do love a bit of chicken and chips but then i also love like a spaghetti bolognese and like a roast uh, a roast dinner though guys actually might be my top because i am like obsessed with cauliflower cheese at the moment i don't know what it is but i'm um, honestly like my mum makes an amazing roast dinner let me tell you now if you're ever about honestly it's just so good like mum makes such a good roast dinner so that like she also does cauliflower cheese that which is like a new thing we started doing oh my god guys it's literally the best in the world like honestly tastes incredible so so good right i'm gonna pop my mascara on and then i will be back right that is my mascara done now all i'm gonna do is just pop on some lip balm now i got this dr pawpaw um lip scrub and lip balm and the lip balm in it is just a little bit of heaven oh, it's so nice on your lips right apple watch is off i'm not gonna be wearing that tonight i'm gonna be getting on my hugo boss watch guys very snazzy josh bought this for me for josh bought this for me actually um a little while ago now maybe a couple of years ago by me a couple of years ago guys craziness right i'll tell you what i am shocking at putting watches on at the moment see i like my watches quite tight do not like them really to move about a lot so preference i guess isn't that guys so that's my watch on I'm gonna pop on my earrings now i'm going for like little gold hoops so that's the sort of look i'm gonna go for so i need to get these ones out right earrings are in necklace is going on now i honestly love putting jewelry on guys i don't know about anybody else but it's like one thing that i love to do is like wear jewelry um, and wear like lots of it as well um oh my gosh i haven't told you guys yet about what my plans are for piercings in my ears 
I am planning on, let's make sure this is legs up on it that yes perfect um i'm planning on getting my seconds done here plan on getting my seconds done i'm potentially another helix pissing i'm not 100 uh 100 sure whether i want the helix but i definitely want my seconds done so i'm gonna be getting that done um next i'm putting on my pandora bracelet as well All right pandora bracelet is on so that is me jewellery I find <laughs> love a bit jewellery guys if you know me you know I love it love wearing jewellery one of my favourite things to do <laughs> but now I'm going to go I'm going to quickly pop on some socks um, and get my white trainers on I'm going to be taking my black denim jacket I think to go with my outfit I've been very like black and white colours at the moment I don't know why but I seem to like only go for those kind of colours at the moment. I don't know why it is, but I do like a good black and white sort of colour coordinated outfit. Get my socks on. I'm just going to go with some trainer socks today, I think. I've also been liking the um, sort of ankle length kind of socks as well, like Adidas ones and Nike socks. and Because I like them to match my trainers I wear, especially for work. Um, I just don't know what it is, but I like it. I'm gonna accessorize with, oh, right. Socks are on, not very pretty, but socks are on. I'm gonna be taking my little white Primark bag. Gotta get my purse and that in it. I'm gonna be taking this little white bag. I think that's so cute. It's got like a gold sort of chain around with like gold sort of features on it. Um, I love it so much. I think it's so, so cute. I'm going to be pairing this obviously with my denim jacket um, and then also my trainers. So I will show you guys my finished outfit once I've obviously got it on. Right, so I am all ready. I've got my cardigan on, I've got my denim jacket and I've got my white trainers on. I'm going to go for, I love it. I think it's such a cute vibe. Such a cute outfit. Love it, so cute. And I'm just gonna pair it obviously with my little white bag. It's gonna be so adorable. Love it, really, really feeling this. But thank you so, so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Welcome to the family. I am so happy to have you here. Um, I really hope you guys are staying safe and you are all well. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. What you do to me There's nothing left to see You left me in the dark now And I'm blended with disease oh, What you do to me Maybe it's my dignity Rip that all apart now And there is no remedy And I'm like I